Yeah. yeah. Okay. Chapter five. I forget the name of it. Oh, House of Madness or something. Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. Is this supposed to be in my room? Yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Okay. Now I'm thinking about one of the uh, those cutscenes between chapters. I feel like this, her being chained to a bed, was actually one of those. I'm not entirely sure, though. When she was a log, maybe? Huh? No, in one of the like black and white cutscenes. Oh, right. I feel like this was actually in one of those, where she was chained to a bed. I don't know. Well, she was in a cage. Soon, my darling. I'm not sure. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. You know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? What did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. Don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now! I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die, because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight, and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Okay, then. Okay, and the door's just gone. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no, don't leave me here. And Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't kill my parents. His claws are tiny and soft. I hope he's fine, but what should I do now? I'm not entirely convinced Aunt Grace is actually a bad person. Hmm. Because I'm not entirely convinced that, that is Aunt Grace. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound, it never stops. That I think oh. about it, the clockmaster said that time is a layered reality. She hates clocks. Yeah. Oh, am I doing some more going through time? Maybe. There's uh, another version of me in this uh, room in another time. Am I changing time again? Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything yes. is in my head. Yes, you can control it with your own mind because it's on your head. Control your own imagination. What do I have? Wait, I can control it. Can I control everything? Oh. Let's look at everything first. It's Kitty and me. He he he. <laughs> it's Kitty and me. Door is closed now, or window is closed. Yes. My lovely kitty. I love these pictures. Right. Our the nurses has always chained me to the bed. Yep. Oh. And the wind took all the magical dust away. She looks much younger here. I think that's the picture of her, or the version of her, in the title screen. This implies she has been in the asylum for yeah. much, much longer. Or at least she was in there before, or maybe everything's just happening at the same time. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. Or maybe this is, like, not a version of her in the asylum, and the actual friend is in the asylum still. <laughs> I think that that is correct. But you're a chain. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? Is that a dog? And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Ultra reality. 
Did you meet Edward already? He always talks See? that bad. See, he's she's she's known him for a long time. Hmm. He was her imaginary friend, and then he she forgot about him, and now they have rekindled that lost relationship. Which, so I'm assuming any of this makes any sense. But it like because Edward was her basically creative aspect, the good things about her mm -hmm. uh, subconscious. She lost that when her parents died, so she forgot Edward, oh. and then he came back. That's my interpretation of it right now. <laughs> yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. He crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. No. Why would you no. say that? Sorry, Fran. You're kind of broken. Yeah, I agree. Think about it. The only way to cross into the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. <laughs> Okay, I'm not convinced this is young Fran anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, I <gasps> called Leon and came to visit once and told me everything. Ah, oh, it's all coming together. <laughs> oh, and can you tell me then why you, why we can see the things we do? So, okay. I think the old man may be Leon there. I thought that was the Oswald guy of the asylum. I don't know. Like Either way, so the implication here is that all the crazy stuff Fran has been saying <laughs> was told to her by Leon as a when she was younger and she just forgot about Leon. Yeah. And like she forgot about all she forgot about the younger the things that happened when she was younger and it's like just now it's part of her subconscious. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know? Our best friend? I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. <laughs> that's the difference. That's the difference. <laughs> anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh uh, yeah, I'm controlling this one now. <laughs> yeah, I'm controlling a different Fran. I'm controlling baby Fran. This is cool. <laughs> I like this. Hey, Fran. Please, Frank, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. I'm on it. Don't panic. Okay, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Young Fran has nothing. Your inventory, your inventory screen is the same, though. <laughs> so. Oh, I thought that was the bed I was clicking on. Never mind. Let's look at some clothes. The shirt is angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was dumb shirt. <laughs> it's been lying <laughs> on the floor since then. So passive aggressive, that shirt. These are pants that can be used by creatures with two legs. Or as a hat for those with long ears. Anyway, I won't use them now. The blue scarf from winter time. What is it doing here? It's not winter. I'll pick it up some other time. <gasps> oh, I thought I was going into Narnia there for oh, a second. Okay. She there. is... So, Fran has been in the asylum for a long time. <laughs> Just straight up. Wow, I wonder if you really did kill your parents. I don't know about that. Trans draw happy faces on everything. I would have to go back through this entire game, like look at dates and everything, you know? Mm hmm To figure out like what the actual timeline is. Crayons to draw happy faces on everything. Or to give color to the ugly things. Or just to draw on paper. I don't feel like drawing right now. Maybe we could make a paper boat, but I can't. I'm on a mission. Let's concentrate. <laughs> my clothing to make shows. I like to dress differently for every show. He gives more character. I like this young Fran. She's <laughs> so positive. <laughs> hey, I got the keys. And my key collection. I hope I can unlock the other Fran now. It's a doll. Do you do bad things? That's why you're a grounded little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That's weird. All right, that jacket. Well, kids, uh... Kids tr tend to treat their... Young children, t like, treat their toys as, like, they are treated. You won't come out yet. No, no. 
So that's like, that's what right. she hears whenever her parents ground her and stuff. <laughs> that's where you're grounded, little lady. I always must put on that jacket to go outside. I can't even play then. It's quite useless. Huh. My yellow dress is pretty. I'll try not to grow up much so I can use it forever. Hmm. But if I grow up, I can use it as a shirt. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I was waiting for this one. <laughs> I drew this after my journey with Itward and Palantras. I think Palantras is funny and smells like bubble gum. And Itward likes to play all day long. Yes. Now I am utterly confused. Yeah, me too. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you what see? What if his name is like Leon Oswald? Because the only thing on that journal was Leon. Uh, it's Leon. His name was Leon Castillo. Castillo. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, th I kept checking the journal to check that because I was like, is it Leon Oswald? <laughs> but oh, okay, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is my super cute rabbit. I like to make it cry. What? what? But only to make it laugh again and then be mad at it. Okay, this is starting to hint at some sort of abuse. <laughs> yeah. The big, big teddy that eats big, big monsters. Please talk. I know you can. No? You're a bad teddy. I'm getting. I'm becoming less and less comfortable with this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the greatest. Dan I was the greatest dancer of them all. Thank you. You really think so? You're too upset. Would you like to talk? I know it's hard not having a leg. I can't find it, all right? It's not my fault. The door is closed. If I open it, I'll get in trouble. If I get in trouble, I'll be sad. All right, I'm gonna try a door on the key, a uh, key on the door just to make sure, but. Okay. I'm probably not gonna be able to. Nope. Oh, things not working makes me angry. Me oh, does too. She have, does she have different dialogue for that? Or like, no, I can't use this with this? No. I'm not sure what she to do. Oh, it's the same. Fr regular France says that. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time, la la la. It does the same as before, huh? So that's the exact same. That is the exact same as the first chapter yeah. in the Asylum. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna unlock you while I go through my thoughts. Let's see. Which key? Hmm. Uh. Fuck if I know. Let's try one. It won't fit. Let's try another. Hey, ah. yay! I bet there's an achievement for like doing it on the first try, <laughs> or you doing it on the last try. Thank you so much, friend. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Palantris told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here. I think it will help you to open something. The li oh, okay, that's <laughs> telling me how to open the Palantris. puzzle box. You know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. Because for Palantris, time is like non-linear. Yeah. So that that that's the problem. The problem isn't that Palantris talked to her after older Fran. It's that older friend doesn't remember. Of course. <laughs> Some weird time, like, time stuff going on here, or friends, like, as some really, like, doesn't remember. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ready for what? Tell me. To wake up. Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Is it? It's it's the nurse. It's the evil nurse. Gladys. Yep. <laughs> Come on, Fran, you must see the doctor now. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. I agree. That nurse is bad, bad, yes. bad nurse. Yes, she is. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. <laughs> Mr. Midnight is dead. <laughs> Nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Yeah, Caleb. Try to no, take your kitty away. He's from dead. Me. Don't try to take this, her. 
that's all she has. This is this isn't about she's she's come to terms with her parents dying because of because she thinks Mr. Midnight is still alive. She has to accept Mr. Midnight's death. That's the only way she can move no. forward. <laughs> Imaginex. Love this comic. I like the part when the alien takes a girl to another planet. <laughs> of course you do. It's always nice to see new places like a Thirsta. Natalia Figueroa killed Monday. <laughs> I don't see anything that's like obviously like it shows like she has a big imagination, but I don't see anything that's like references other thing in there. Slippers. My slippers. I used them when it was raining and I can't go outside. Also when it's a weekend I don't need to go to school. Anyway, I don't need them to rescue Mr. Midnight. Oh fine then. I don't want to lay on this bed ever again. I had better plans than waking up chained to it. Anyway, I'll find Kitty and move to a Thirsta. Sounds like an awesome plan. Wow. Um, what did I lose there? There's just something missing. Oh no, the picture was here. Um, yeah, I don't Things just got rearranged. Okay. Let's find out how to open the puzzle box. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears, first to twice to the left and once to the right. I rub it all I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Alright, so. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. So, mm -hmm. left twice, right one. Rub its only eye two times. So, left, left, right, middle. Eye. Eye. Left. Eye. Left, left, right, left, eye. Eye. Two eyes. Left eye. Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. I was sure I was gonna like fiddle with the things up there, but I guess not. Nope. That I got a key a and a note. Red herring. A cat key. Cat oh, key. Oh, it's for the thing. Ooh. All right, let's read the note first. Mabuka Mabuka, wake up with Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light, but the locust is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock in the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. All right, so to make a ecog clock designed by Cogwind, I need an empty case. Ooh. A working bulb, a wake-up clock, a bottle with water, soap bar, one glove, black wire, and piano keys. Yes. I was expecting to go to uh, one of the other realities at, at some point. Like I was figuring this last chapter would be like... Yeah. Second reality or something. Yeah. Or fourth reality. That's death. Funny or CD. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so I should be able to hopefully do this now. Things aren't. Okay, can't do that. Oh, I can do my inventory from here. There we go. Okay. Yay, magic cat! Magic cat. And now that's gone. Okay. I'll keep looking around the room. To ride the choo choo train is the best! Sings all the time, choo choo, and then you crash and die. And then the uh, Edward's machine made a train noise whenever it first took off. Interesting. The big doll my daddy and I built together. Aw. Her name is Piwan, and she likes to be naked. She had a dress once, but she burned it. Hmm, okay. What's in your closet? This is a normal closet, okay. Look at the mirror first. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Aw. Also to comb my hair and see if the clothing fits. Sometimes I stare at my eyes for a very long time and get scared. <laughs> yeah, that can be cre creepy sometimes. Do you have a friend? This is yeah. Alice from school. We talk. We like to play together. She tells me stories about a wonderful <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. We have so much fun making stuff up together. I think you guys are dressed for Halloween. I think that's Alice's normal outfit. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. She has a key, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe a normal girl is dressed up as Alice. Uh, oh, I think the obvious illusion is that, like, this is, like, Frambo going through Alice in oh, Wonderland yeah, sort of thing. 
and it's just like you know, little like falling down the well. It's just a little nod just to that. Yeah. They both had cat dolls. I don't believe you can hear the ocean in the shell at all. I think it's just my ear making it up. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty, and I like it. It's true, Fran. My summer hat doesn't fit anymore. My head is too big. My mother always told me that is because I have a big brain. <laughs> But I wonder, is that a good or bad thing? Who knows? Terrible thing. Ew, it has cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. Good. I do find it interesting that whenever you like look examine things, it's always her brain. Like it's her mind. Yeah. I don't know why that's interesting to me, but it is. Well, maybe it's because a lot of games may have like stupid heart pop up sometimes or something. Well, I think a lot of games would just like use a normal character's face or something. I this, don't know. This game is really like you're thinking. You're a thinker, Fran. Yeah. Oh, Fran is definitely like thinks a lot. Very yeah. creative child. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, like we've already discussed. Very believable child. Yeah. I hope it where it comes to. Oh, I got my little lunch box. Oh, school case. I may need it. Okay, we'll look at that later. There's a sock. My tiny sock for my tiny feet. I'll just leave it there. Hello, don't look at me like that. We had a deal. You stay here until I grow up. Because grown-up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Balloons? Balloons in many colors. Okay. I already took the balloon. The box is empty. Shoes. They like to cover my feet. That is Make a really me think of the great doll. dancer in Athirsta. I wonder if he will dance again without the shoes. <laughs> Those were her shoes all along. Mm -hmm. My lovely, be oh, my lovely beach dress for sunny days. <laughs> the coat for when it's windy and cold. The summer dress, it is a big button. And I can't click on that one. I can't click on this one. Okay. It's just a regular scarf doing what regular, regular scarves do. Okay. My little dollhouse. <gasps> ah! The pine cone. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Pine cone people! That makes sense because she like used a pine cone as a doll basically. Yep. Oh, I can move stuff. Oh, this is, I'm gonna have to figure out like where what goes where, right? No. No. Do not have oh, I can to just do take that. things. There's a. Gonna keep this little piano to play lovely melodies. That's one of the things do I do need. Do 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 do. This one is Albert, and he likes relative things. Because <laughs> it's Albert Einstein. <laughs> it's convenient to think that everything is relative, especially if you don't have a straight answer. <laughs> this is Tesla, and he likes to play with energy. I had a dream where he was made of thunder. He was Thunderman, superhero. A rock, my pet rock. I rescued the queen from my dad's playing cards. I was forced to cut out her twin sister, though. <gasps> oh, it's the girls, though. Yeah. It all comes together it again. Really is. And uh, and the other queen it is dead now. Looks like them. Also, um, Fran's mom and aunt were twins, since twin sisters. That's right. And one of them is dead now. <laughs> my mother drew this flower for me. I lied to my friend once and told her that I drew it myself. So, oh, now I want to go back to chapter two again because that has to have some allusions to Fran's mom and her aunt. Yep. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> it's not about the two girls. It's about her mom and aunt. I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets mad, but a teacher made an instrument with lots of caps added to a stick. Then we formed a band called Shucks. School and sh Sucks put together. <laughs> Okay. And the world lady starting upside down her tears drowning good friend always so big. I robbed this painting from one of my friend's dollhouse. <laughs> After that I never invited him to again to play with me. Mostly because I didn't want to show him what I stole from him. Wow. <laughs> He's always been a little thief. The door to the dollhouse. I didn't I don't need matches right now. I'll just leave them there. So she just made this dollhouse by herself. That's kinda neat. Yeah. Put him up there. Actually, oh, I ripped the paper off. <gasps> I can find things. There's a key back there. Mm -hmm. I see it. But 
B. It's a key. What does that say? Does that say something important? Something, something in destinations? destinations? Gathering. I don't think that that's anything. Aha! A key. I bet it's gonna lock something. Aha! Okay. And so... You go there. Nope. There. Nope. There. Nope. It's Yeah, I, now, now I just have to check every room. I think that you found everything. Yeah, I think the key in that uh, the other thing I picked up was it, but just want to make sure. Okay. Uh, 